Are we on? Hi. Hi. Guys, welcome to Makeup Monday. I haven't seen you in what feels like 800 years. At least 800. Would we say? Yeah, like we've got everybody here. We're so excited. Everybody say hi. Introduce yourself. You can't see them, but this is our fabulous Makeup Monday crew. We'll start with Cecilia. Hi, I'm Cecilia. I'm one of the social interns. I'm Kirsten. I'm the other social intern this summer. I'm Mike, and I hope to be a social intern. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Sean, and I, uh, you never see me, and I'm behind the camera. Yeah, oh. there's like a fabulous Motley crew that's behind the camera. And so we're so happy that you're here for Makeup Monday. I actually haven't been here, I feel like, for maybe three weeks, it feels like. So I'm happy to be back. I'm Courtney Kaysen. I'm your host of Makeup Monday. The girls are all here answering questions because we are on Facebook. We're on QVC. We're on Courtney Kaysen QVC. We're on Beauty IQ. We're on the Makeup Monday landing page on QVC.com, which is awesome because everything that we show you during the show is actually available if you just scroll down. So search Makeup Monday on QVC.com. And then we're also on YouTube. So the only thing that we ask of you is if you want a shout out, you want to say, hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Hey. Uh, just go to one of our Facebook pages. That way we can see you because we can't take questions or comments on Facebook or YouTube. But we're so happy that you're here. And if you're thinking it's midsummer, what am I doing with my beauty regimen? Today we're going to be talking about hair because you know when you, okay, so my bathroom I woke up this morning at like 6.30, took a shower, it was still a little dark outside. I don't think I noticed that it was about to be like the torrential downpour rainstorm that it was. And my hair was just feeling a little too good to be true. Like it was lots of volume, no frizz with my Dyson air wrap. And then I walk outside and it's like crazy curly, lost all of my volume, hot little mess. And so today, in the spirit of hot weather, high humidity, I thought that I would teach you guys how to do the perfect messy bun so that you don't have to have a bad hair day. Because I actually kind of think if you're having a bad hair day, you're having a bad life day. So we want to avoid that at all costs. And so today we're going to teach you two ways to do a bun so that you don't have to experience that. See, we're showing you beauty. We're giving you a little therapy session. It's amazing. So can we start with low bun? Low bun first? Low bun. Yeah. Okay. Low bun. Low bun. We're going to low bun it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sean. It's so nice to hear your enthusiasm over the low bun. All right. So fun fact about a low bun. I love a low bun because I think if even if you have like medium length hair, you can still participate in it. And if you don't, honestly, just go on QVC.com, get yourself um, like a hairdo piece. They actually make ponytails and you can attach it and then do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. But with a low bun, I feel like it kind of gets a, a little bit of a bad rap because you're like, is there a lot of personality back there? How do I twist it? How do I tie it? How do I make it look different? And so how I'm going to start this off for you guys is I'm going to do like, let's see. Okay, I'm going to do just two, like a little side braid right here to just give it some personality. So it's like we should have had Sarah Potemkel's braid bomb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So here's what we'll do. So I'm going to start braiding, and I actually braid this pretty tightly, um, and I'll just do the, well, should I do one side with the braid or two sides? Because I'm just going to tuck it in. What do you guys think? Let's do one. One, okay. Let's do one and, you know, spread it out. Yeah. yeah, little accent piece. Feel you. All right, so with starting with this braid, I can't really French braid on my own hair, so I just do super simple braids. So what I'm actually going to do is take one of these Lori Grenier hair ties and just tie this as is. It's only like a holding place to then pull my braid out. So I'm going to wrap it around a bunch of times. And if it looks like a foam cord, it totally does. Um, these are great because they don't kink your hair or leave like a line, which is super frustrating. So I'm going to start to just pull this out. And it should double in size from what you originally had it at. And using these things, while it looks obnoxious for now, kind of gives your hair flexibility with hold so that it stays put, but also gives you a little room to, like, add some texture. So we have some, a lot of people saying, or a couple people saying, welcome back. <gasps> Yay! We have Trisha, and we have Erica. Hi, girls. And Ad Adelina gives you some weight. Adelina? Adelina. 
Adelina. Adelina, I hope that is right because it sounds exotic and fabulous and I hope you are somewhere. Warm and beautiful and sunny. All right, so I'm gonna take this out. The other thing that I like about these is they're kind of no tug, which is genius. Um, Cause I don't know about you, but I am not the most responsible person at picking out hair ties. I mean well, but sometimes I'm like, at the end of the day, mama is tired. Want none of that. All right, so I just lifted up some of my hair just right there, so you can see that little mark. And then since this piece is trying to curl, I'm actually gonna leave that out. If you ever read my friend um, Allie Webb's book, Great Hair for All, she very clearly tells you in the first couple of pages, like if it's humid outside and you have curly hair, like work with the curl. Don't yes. fight it. Yes. Don't argue with it. <laughs> so this piece clearly wants to stay out. And so I'm going to honor that. I'm going to honor that all the way. Um, what I am going to do though right here is I'm going to take their styling brush and I'm just going to tease my hair. And I love this brush because it's three layers of boar bristle. And so it really gets into the crown and pushes the hair down. So, I mean, I could stop right here. This is amazing. No bump it for me. Um, I'm just doing this just to get a little bit of volume. And so I'll do just a little piece right here. Right there. And just kind of shape that out. All right. Patty and April say hi, Corey. <gasps> hi. So good to see you guys. All right, one of the things really quickly that I love about teasing hair is I don't have a great head shape. It's a true oh. story. Um, and most notably, I feel like what I've never forgotten as a young adult in the world of beauty is I went to get fitted for my graduation cap and they were like, can you bring out the large? Like I didn't fit in the regular cap. And for then, like my whole life, I just thought I had a normal size head. And then the lady at like the oldness fitting was like, no, we're going to need a large. So I have a big head. So with that, sometimes it's a little hard to kind of get everything shapely. Did you grow into your head? I mean, I must I mean, have. You, but you were probably, you were pretty much fully grown at that point. You'd like to think. I, I, I don't you know? know. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe you're a late bloomer. Yeah, we don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it must be larger than a 22 inch circumference, which I think is standard. My son, when he was born, had a huge head and he grew into it. Yeah. He looks normal now. I mean, you hope, you know? I grew into my you eyes. <laughs> yeah, I have eyes. Sean, yeah. Sean did a big eye. I saw pictures on my phone. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to turn around for just a second. Okay, so here's like. Actually, I'll take this out. Okay, so where you place your low bun is just a matter of preference. If you have shorter hair, put it higher up just so you have room to play. And then if you have really long hair, like you can you can let it loose, you can do whatever you want to, but- Let it loose. Let it loose. Okay, but I just wanna show you, there's two ways that you can do this and how I wear my hair. So I'm just gonna wrap this around and twist. But right here, I'm gonna go halvesies and then just tuck my hair back through. Could you see that, Sean? Okay, so now what I'm doing, because these little hair ties are flexible but taut at the same time, I'm kind of doing a little messy bun that's got like a lot of great texture and it's kind of organic in the sense. And so, yes, you can see the tie, but what I want to show you is you can actually take a bobby pin and then just kind of pinch it so that it goes at the top of it and then it covers it up. So can you guys still see that? It's so hard to like, can you still see the cord? Uh, no. You can? Yeah, yeah thanks, yeah, Cecilia. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> so, oh, here's the mirror. Okay, great. This is fucking <laughs> so helpful. Okay, all right, hang on. So is it on this side that you see the cord? I yeah. see it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so then you'll take this side and then you'll just do the same thing. Open up your bobby pin and then place it so that it's going in and towards the hair tie. So now you shouldn't see it, right? Perry and Melissa say this is so cute. I am so impressed you did this on one shot. Like, do you know how many times I do my messy bun in the morning? Oh, it's like a messy bun will like age you eight years. Yeah. And then you'll be like, I should cut my hair. And then you do it and you're like, that was a mistake. Um, <laughs> I, know. <laughs> so, I know you did that. You had long hair when you were a vegetarian, Sean. Yeah, I did. Vegan. Yes. That's it, vegan. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Are you for against a low bun? No, no, I said I wish I knew these techniques oh. when I had long hair. Oh, okay. You were vegan. Okay, forget it. Yeah. yeah. 
you know, you think man bun and vegan is hand in hand, but it's not. No, no, no. You know? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Barbara, had a, Barbara had a great comment. Uh, she's cheesing her hair. So 1960s. No thanks. Oh, hang on a second, Barbara. Let me just give you a fun fact about myself. So, okay. when I was a sorority girl at the University of Mississippi, also known as Ole Miss, okay. on our floor, I lived in Stewart Hall. Um, I lived in room 420. Oh. And, um, yeah, right? So funny. For a number of reasons. And actually, one night, I did set off the alarm, fire alarm, at 4 o'clock in the morning. Because I was, like, doing hood rat things with my friends and, like, staying out late. What so I did you? put in a bag of popcorn. And then my girlfriend came over. And then, like, we went to go visit somebody else. And I forgot about the bag of popcorn. Oh. And so the fire alarm went off. So all of those poor girls in Stewart, especially on the fourth floor, were like, A, what does that smell? It does smell like something caught on fire. And then you had to wake up. So it was, it was really terrible for, like, that whole week. Anyways, I digress. There was this girl, who I cannot name, who came to school with a teasing brush that at that time, in 2003, was 40 years old, and it had been passed down to women all in their family. Not cleaned, not ever, like, taken the hair out of it, and we all would stand in line game day to get our hair teased by this brush. Never looked better. You can be a little judgy about teasing your hair, but whatever was in that brush, like the blood, sweat, and tears of sorority girls of like 80 years past was on that brush, everybody's hair was better than Stepford. It was like, are you real? Is this your real life? Is that your real hair? And it was all from a brush. All from a brush. Magical brush. It was so good. It was so good. Yeah. It was amazing. I loved Barbara's comment before, but I love your story. I know. I mean, it's amazing. Like, you think about, like, how many heads of hair that went to that, like, nothing happened to any of us. You, you know? around on game day just for the Oh, so, okay. By the way, I think my low bun is, like, kind of done. Just, like, piece it out. All done. And you can pull hair out at the top just to give it more body. That's what I love about, like, these accordion loops. So, again, if you don't have great hair shape, you can just toss like this. And then take a little of the Calista spray. Just like that. And you done. Uh, woo, look at this. And then I'm gonna leave that piece out because it's just fun and flirty, but yeah, look, pretty cute, right? That is fun. Just a little hairspray for good measure. All three of you, and Sean, right on there. Um, okay, so let me tell you another story. But first, let me take a selfie because I'll give, I'll like pull you on which you guys think is better, either like a low bun or a high bun. All right, so really quick, let me take a selfie. Oh, uh, Cecilia, can you take a picture? I was going to say, do you have her in the back? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, good. This is Cecilia. Oh. <laughs> she's great. Ready? Yes. While you're getting that picture, Melissa Ooh, has This is a, a good comment. angle. I need the break. Okay. Ready? Put it in the middle. Okay. Melissa <laughs> says, you have pretty hair. Mine is, I think she meant, meant to say thick and curly and frizzy. It's a hot mess. Oh, honey, you and me both. Actually, when Aaron and I got married, everybody was like, are you so excited for, like, your wedding and your honeymoon? And the wedding, I was really excited because AG basically, like, planned all of it. He's a big planner. Guy loves a party bus, loves a band. That was total, like, his realm. I was more nervous about our honeymoon because we were um, – we were really excited. We saved up all of our money to go to Tahiti and Bora Bora. And everything that I read there was that American hair dryers don't use them. They blow fuses and can blow the hair dryer. And I seriously thought to myself, like, I'm just getting married. My husband's going to see me for the first time with natural hair. And he's going to be like, who is that? That is not the girl that I married. That's how bad my hair is. Also, I'd like to say, um, if you are a woman of a certain age and know who Roseanne Rosanna Dana is, oh. that is what I would say my hair looks like. It's frizzy, it's crazy, unpredictable, curly, and I feel like it's a public service wearing it straight almost every day of my life. So it's just the products that you use. Most recently, I've been using a ton of texturizing spray from Wynn. I also use Mitch Stone, um, like the Goddess spray, and then I use like the serum from Wynn just to kind of like smooth everything out. I love Gilda Runner. She's so great. So Gilda, Ra Gilda Runner is so great. Don't know who that is. Look her up. She's amazing. All right, so I'm going to take this down so you can vote at the end of the show. And maybe I would have, like, left that. But, yeah, kind of messy, kind of fun, flirty, and great for days where it's raining. So while I take my hair down, I'm going to tell you a story. 
This is a true story. So speaking of my Ole Miss days, before I was a sorority girl, so I didn't know anything about Ole Miss before I went. I got a scholarship to go. And so at UGA, everybody wears, like to football games, everybody wears like cute jean skirts, something Georgia related. And so when my parents dropped me off, I was so pumped because they took me to the bookstore and they said, you know, hey, like, what is it that you want as a party gift? And I was like, well, since I'm an Ole Miss rebel now, like, I really want to get like a cute pink polo to wear on game day with like a cute jean skirt. And they were like, perfect, fine. So our first home game, which was against Memphis, I think, I show up to my friend's dorm room and I have that on and they look like they're going to a wedding, straight up. Like, couldn't be any more awkward. Like, I, and so I look at them and I was like, oh, are you guys, are you guys going to the game? And she was like, yeah, aren't, aren't, aren't you? Or no, are you just staying in? And I was like, what? Basically, when I went to Ole Miss, it is so different than it is now. You dressed like you were going to a wedding at Ole Miss. You had a date that took you out on Friday night, and then he picked you up and took you to the game. He was in a jacket and khakis, and then you were in this like cute, short, woodwear to a wedding or cocktail affair dress with beautiful high heel shoes, not wedges, in the Grove, which is 10 acres on Ole Miss's campus, tailgating under tents that had chandeliers. I had one dress when I went to college. It was my graduation dress, and that's what I wore for the first football game and then called my parents, and I was like, we've got to rethink my wardrobe. I came about this from totally wrong angle. Steve Salzberg is like that, too. I've heard, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Same same, totally same thing. North, okay. South doesn't matter. It doesn't. Nope. This side of the Mississippi, that side of the Mississippi, it's like whatever you want. Well, you can you go know? Dixon, I say. Mawson Dixon. Only I say that. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. All right, so shall we do a high bun for high tea? For high tea? In honor oh. of Mike and East Strasburg. <laughs> Stra wait. Doesn't matter. Strasburg is an actor, isn't he? Uh, is it like an acting method? Uh, yeah. Strasburg. Yeah, Strasburg method. Or Where did you go to school? Uh, Strasburg. Way off. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. You know, we just, above anything else on Makeup Monday, we want to culture you. Totally. None of us can keep a straight face. <laughs> Okay. All right. So coming up next, a high bun. So this is one a lot of people think that they cannot participate in, quite frankly, just because they don't have the length of hair. And so I'm here to tell you that that does not matter. And I think if you have short hair, again, go to QVC.com, look up a hairdo ponytail, and you can just attach that to your ponytail and then have lots of fun with like braiding and then twisting it in a knot. But more on that on QVC.com. So how I go about my messy bun is a little bit different because a lot of people will just put their hair up like they're doing a ponytail and kind of go from there and then pull it out, which I still do. But how I start my messy bun is I take my, let's see, let's get these curly cues out just like that. I think those are gonna stay. So from here, I'm gonna just start combing through my hair and kind of just pressing it up like this just like so, so that there's like a little part but a little personality. And see how I'm kind of like pushing my hair up so that there's a little bit of body? Keep your hands there, because now what I'm gonna do is just kind of sweep my hair so that it meets where I want my messy bun. Just like that. And if there are any rough patches, that's what this brush is here for. You shouldn't have to undo your hair. Even if you have like a little pop-up dent, just doing something like that should kind of like totally take care of it. So actually, let's start again. I'll pull those pieces out later. All right, so pull here. I'm gonna go here. Were you gonna say something, Mike? Nikki's in the house. <gasps> Nikki! That's my mom. She drops by. Is your mom in the chat, Cecilia? You know what? <laughs> I don't think Candy said anything. She will now that she said something. I'm sure she's we love a mom fly by and drive by. <laughs> Do you know what my mom will say to me sometimes after I get off air and I drive home because I always call her? Oh. She'll literally say to me, she goes, will you let me dye hair today? 
And I'm like, I guess. <laughs> like, only moms can say that stuff to you. Did you all have the answer to that? Yes, apparently I was. All right. So I'm pulling this. And notice how I still have that body up front. I have really flat hair, so just kind of piecing it together and folding it there is really nice. Now, two schools of thought, and I'm going to show you how to do both. So some people, for their messy bun, once you find that spot, will then twist this around and then go like this. So it looks kind of strange, right? But they'll start to pull this out, and then they'll do little pieces like this. So I'll twist this way so it hides that. And then I'm going to take the other one, fold it around this way. And it doesn't have to be perfect. because I actually don't like my buns perfect. So now I'm going to just take this and kind of pin it down. And a good rule of thumb to do this is like north, south, east, west and just hope for the best. So oh, top, yeah. south, east, and then lastly, west. All right, so yeah, again, doesn't look like a perfect bun, but that's kind of the point. And then you can just kind of piece this out, add a little, texturizing spray from Wynn and just like get in there and you may have to add another bobby pin but that's okay okay what do we think that was good that was good all right I'll let you guys but see you gotta watch out for this because it like looks a little high like it needs to be center like for Instagram this is fine we're living the most, right? Like, you're like, look at my bun, it's amazing. But then if you saw me out in person, you'd be like, that's weird. That's half a bun up front, which is good, which is why we do this. Because all you need to do now is just pull some of these pieces back, and that's totally fine. All right, so, hold on. We need to have, like, a full-length mirror back here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Next time. Yeah. We'll put the bucket here. So there, does that look a little more centered? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So that's your messy bun, one way. And then if you want to, you can just pull out some pieces, totally do a 90s vibe. The one thing that you wanna do with this is just make sure that your hair is not stuck to your head. It's just not a good look on anybody. And then it's like, if it's stuck to your head and then you have this like crazy bun, it's like, where did all that hair come from? You know, we don't want that. Not today. All right, so that's look two. So then I'll take a selfie of it. Thank you. All right, so I'll post this. Turn it on five. Okay. Like this side? Yeah. Uh, I'll show you. Your eye makeup looks so pretty. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, isn't this great? Like the making of a selfie. It's like all of a sudden you get this like random burst of energy for a photo, and you're like, and then you're done. And you're like, <sighs> it's so exhausting. It is so exhausting. All right, so that's the second way that you can wear a messy bun. So I'm going to take my pins out. And also I like doing north, south, east, west because at least I know where to start pulling the pins out. Sometimes with my hair you get in there and you're like, I don't know which pin came first. You know? And that's what you don't want. You don't want that. All right, so I think I put in six. I know. It's a really good fit. Yeah, north, south, east, west. It's not as good as Cecilia's little number of like the ex expiration on the jar. Oh. That has changed oh, yeah. lives, apparently. That's a whole that thing. Right there, right? That's, I don't know that we'll ever forget that. <laughs> okay. In years to come, we'll be like, with a, there's a six on the back of that moisturizer. You need to throw that out at eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> she told my wife about it, and she's like, that doesn't matter. I'm like, all right. I know, cool. it kind of doesn't matter to me either, because I, unless there's something growing in there that I should be visibly concerned about, I'm like, It's only a suggestion. It is only a suggestion. That is absolutely correct. It's a suggestion. The expiration on milk is a suggestion. Uh, yeah. Does anybody uh, else think it's creepy weird that organic milk lasts for like two months? Yeah, check the dates. 
next time you buy organic milk. Okay. Because even from the cost alone, if you don't drink it, you should just buy organic milk instead of regular milk because you'll have so much longer with it. You know what I think's amazing? What? The magical cheesy bread has no expiration. No, it, it doesn't. It will go on forever. No, it doesn't. They're always allowed to buy yeah. I know. Well, I bet it is. Uh, I know. Trisha, Kathy, and Terry all said they, your hair looks super cute. Thanks. Uh, commenting on the, uh, the eye you. bun. All right, so now we're going to do our last look for the high bun moment. And so this one's just going to be more of a traditional pony. And this is going for my girls that don't have a lot of hair. Because let's face it, as we get older, everybody loses their hair. No matter how many vitamins and supplements we may take, it's like just everything thins out, you know, and sometimes not for the better. Say lovey with our hair. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take said teasing brush and I'm gonna multiply this look to almost as if I look like thing two. Oh. So watch, so start in the back and then just peel it away. Just like that. Mm hmm yep. All right, so now what we're gonna do, because your hair is like super thick at the base, we're just gonna start twirling, just like this. All the way around, hang on, let me brush through. So here we go. So this one is a little more, like I would say, starts off thinner at the top, but then we're going to spread it out. And because I teased it, there's lots of nice texture in there, which makes it look like you have a super thick head of hair. Missy uh, says, OMG, I was wondering, wondering the same thing about milk. I know. It's so strange. It's Check it out. It's like a two-month expiration date. And it doesn't say on the back of the carton, throw out after 10 days. I think it's implied. No? But I, it's really up to the smell test. As far as totally. I totally. Yeah. And milk is not one of those things that I feel weirded out if it sours. Because I'm like, oh, that turns into cheese. That'll go on to be something else. Like, it's not for me now. But the evolution of it doesn't bother me. I'm not disgusted. Can you tell AG, hey, this is sour, let's keep it another couple months and we'll make cheese out of it? Or is it just, mm -mm. or you just don't say anything? I probably just don't say and anything. And they'll just discover it just on a free branch. Yes. It's like those types of tricks where you're like, how do I keep my marriage hot? Sour milk. Sour milk. <laughs> All right, so with this one, you can kind of stretch it out if you want to, but it's a little more of a precise bun, whereas I would say the other one's a little more organic. But again, if you don't have a lot of hair, which is totally fine, this one I feel like makes sense for most of us and looks the most like a traditional bun. Is so. it kind of a shelf life for two months? Yeah, you can wear this to, yeah, and then you get the swirl at the top, which some people really like the swirl. That's sock like, bun vibes. Well, so funny you should mention the sock bun. Okay. I don't like the sock bun. Never. I think it's weird that it looks like a mushroom, and so to me, this is like a twister of emotion. Okay. Like you don't know whose attitude is going to show up when you have like a subtle twist, but like with the sock bop, I'm like, eh. Like it can't be that easy. You need to work a little harder for your bun. Okay. That's how I feel. Um, so should we do pieces out? Yeah, okay. A little relaxed look, day two style. Yeah, oh, what a great point. Okay, so I got the Dyson Airwrap, which I love. And I wish we could do a tutorial from wet to dry with the Dyson Airwrap because I'm super obsessed. I have the grossest hair on the planet and I love it. But one of the things that it's taught me is that I don't want to dry my hair all the time and I have to take smaller sections. Both I'm not proud of. I'm still working through those emotions while drying my hair, but we're here. So... If you are thinking to yourself, like, oh, drawing my hair is so taxing, one of the best things that you can do, truly, is to either take the wind dry shampoo or the texturizing spray and just get up in there, like spray, 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 and just kind of move it around, let it set, and then take like a wind comb or a brush like this, and then just lightly brush through it. Because all the amazing ingredients in there that kind of give you that grit for hold, hold, hold onto your hair and absorb a little oil. So. I will also say that when you go and get your hair done for an updo, is that still a thing for like formals? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
no hairdresser wants to do an updo on clean hair. They prefer if you come two or three days, but then some people are like, you don't want to see me, my hair, two days, two or three days in. I promise you, use a little dry shampoo from Wynn and you'll be back in business and it'll absorb all that oil so that you get all of this great, great height. Just like living at a little top knot moment. So perfect. All right, so you'll let me know in the comments below which you like if you like the, the organic top bun, if you like the traditional top knot, or if you like a low bun. All were really great options. We used the texturizing spray from Chaz Dean. We used the Callista setting spray, which by the way, I cannot get enough of this. And if ever you wanna just like move pieces and have them stay put, it's like so cute, just like that. Um, we also used the teasing comb. Actually, I don't know what this is called, but that's maybe just like the redneck thing to say, teasing comb. It's a judgment-free zone. It is a judgment-free zone. It's a teasing comb for me, but I actually really like it from Dry Bar, and it's great for sectioning your hair. And truly, this is the best deal on the planet. These Lori Grenier accordion hair ties, I don't even know what you call them. I call them foam cord hair ties. There are like 30 of them for $20. You cannot find that anywhere else. And they come in an assortment of colors, which is awesome. And even though you stretch them out like crazy, they always go back. Can I give you a tip to come back <gasps> oh, to normal? Oh, here we go. <laughs> yes. So when those first came out, my mom bought me like a pack of like 30, right? And like yes. clear, brown, black, all different colors. The best way to get them back to normal is to put them on your doorknob. Okay, so just put it on a doorknob. Like doorknob. Just like put it on a doorknob. Okay. I love it. Yeah. I know where mine are going. My roommates always laugh. They're like, there are 900 of these throughout the house. Stop. I'm like, okay. Yeah, but at least you know where they are. That's amazing. Yeah, if I open the door, they're fine. Yeah. How many times do you lose a hair tie, which is why Lori Grenier put these in a pack of 30. Now you can just put them on the doorknob everywhere in your house. You and go. like, to what water was in the movie Signs, now you have it with Lori Grenier hair ties. There you go. Keeping the bad people away, keeping bad hair days at bay. That is going to wrap it up for us on showing you how to do a messy bun. You can vote on which look you like below, and then I'm going to do a post later where you can vote on there on Courtney Case and QVC. That's going to wrap it up for all of us here at Makeup Monday. Yeah, yeah. I hope you have a great week. Say peace out. Bye-bye.